E3 is here from June 12th till June 16th with a ton of surprises during the press conferences, probably new hardware announcements and a ton of awesome games. This is my top 5 games I look forward to the most at E3 2016. Share me yours in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. The most impressive game of E3 2015 was without a doubt Horizon Zero Dawn. Guerrilla Games, known for the Killzone franchise, took the stage during the Sony press conference and showed an amazing gameplay demo of our new favorite red-headed archer, Alloy. This year I can't wait to see more of Horizon, how does the main gameplay work, how does the story progress, how big is the world, hopefully it will be playable on the show floor as well, since I can't wait to take out a huge cyborg dinosaur myself. Horizon was not playable last year, so it was not my game of the show of E3 2016, so that title goes to For Honor. The 4v4 battle I played was very impressive to say the least. The sword fighting gameplay worked fantastic, I really had to scan the opponent and guess what they would do next, where teaming up with another player really made the difference, because you just did not stand a chance if you are alone. I'm curious to see how the other classes will work since we only got to try out the knight and not the vikings and the samurais. For Honor also features a single player campaign, hopefully they will share more on how that works and probably we will hear a release date. Will we see it in 2016 or 2017? I think December this year or February 2017 will do. First 2015, then 2016 and now 2017. We are waiting a long time for the Legend of Zelda Wii U or the Legend of Zelda NX. Either way, it launches on both systems in March 2017. But at this year's E3 we will finally see more of this impressive looking Zelda. The world should be open, but I'm curious if it will be crowded as well. What new gameplay mechanics can we expect? Just anything. I'm curious to hear more and see more at E3 and finally play it. I got my appointment scheduled already, so let's go. The Ubisoft surprise of last year was Ghost Recon Wildlands and it looks pretty wild to me. The premise of an open world that you can explore with up to 3 friends the way you want sounds very promising and the closed door session I witnessed last year got me even more excited. It looked like GTA Online heist but now you can choose how to tackle each mission. Will you have a helicopter in the air or do you do it all from the ground? Stealth or guns blazing? I'm super curious how this game has evolved from last year and when it will release. Last but not least is Persona 5 the long awaited JRPG will launch in September in Japan and is also coming to the west but when? We still don't know but hopefully we will hear more during the Sony E3 2016 press conference. A day and day release with Japan? It would be insane and interesting since Final Fantasy XV will launch two weeks after that and is the biggest competitor on the GRPG front. Will Persona 5 be playable at E3 2016? I don't think so. Atlas is at the show though. So fingers crossed. On the other hand it will not demo very well at a crowded booth. Still anything Persona 5 at E3 2016 will be awesome, so bring it on. I put For Honor, Horizon and Ghost Recon on this list, games that we did not know about before E3 2015, so my favorite games of last year were mostly newly announced titles, so this could really be the case at this year's E3 as well, which makes it even more exciting. As you may know, I will be at E3 2016 for IGN Benelux, playing a ton of games, visiting the press conferences and making a ton of Dutch content for the website, but you can follow all my adventures via Instagram, I will post photos as much as I can and Snapchat to get a behind the scenes look at what being at E3 is like. Thanks all for watching, share your top 5 E3 2016 games in the comments down below. I got a ton of E3 2016 predictions up on the channel, so be sure to check them out. Subscribe for way more E3 coverage, thanks a lot for watching and I will speak to you next time, goodbye.